G'day guys, we are leaving work early because we're going to do a how-to series on chasing school dew in the river. We've got the 640 coming out, we're all packing down early and we're going to go to the river. It's raining so we've got the OD Pro gear on and we're going to show you how we chase school dew in our local river. On a day like today, it's been absolutely bucketing down but right now we've got a patch in the weather so we're going to film the intro. So a few things to note when you're chasing school dew, they're a lot different to your bigger dew. First things first, these fish spook very easily. So what we've actually done, we've got our fishing ground to at my left here. We've come in with the electric engine, honestly, about 200 metres away. We've also turned off our through-hull 1 kilowatt transducer and we're only running side scan. It's basically a big, a big gravel patch. We like the dead low tide for these little school dew. And we'll show you the kind of ground and what it looks like on our side scan. Um, it's not a huge ledge. There's not a huge amount of current. It's just a gravelly structure um, near some big bits of concrete. And the school dew, we've sounded them up here a number of times, so it's pretty predictable. They're going to be here time and time um, until they decide to move to another area of the river. So I'm going to go get a lure on and we're going to go show you how to catch these school dew. So when it comes to the technique to chasing these dew, um, you've got to make sure you're connected with the bottom. So, you know, be warned, you are going to be fishing some snag areas and you're going to obviously lose um, the odd lure just from being connected to rocks. But we're fishing heavy enough jig heads in about eight to nine metres of water to make sure that we're constantly connected with the bottom. And then all it is, is just hopping it up and down off the bottom. Just one, two, um, you can mix it up give it a little slow roll in between. But those fish are on the bottom. And uh, you know, you can be amazed. You'll sound them up and you can cast at them for, they're kind of like Barra to a degree. You'll cast at them for maybe half an hour to an hour, if not longer, and then eventually something will turn and they'll start eating. You just have to be extremely patient. Get away here. Oh man. Ooh. Have we done it? Have you done it, Dewey? Oh, no, Come on, Mundy. Just lead off. Okay guys, well that's the target species. They are little school dew. Now what we found is these fish seem to eat the second the tide starts to run in. So we come here on the low tide, the second the tide starts to push in, Harry's on in the background, the second the tide starts to run in, it's like that fresh nutrient dense water comes in and these little school dew start to fire up. So that we've seen them stacked up on the sounder. We've spent the last hour or so throwing lures on their head and not a single touch. Now once that tide's turned, We've got a fish on board. Now these are little fish, we're only using six pound gear, so we're gonna get him back in the drink, but that's on that, um, that Munro's plastic, these little Aussie made lures. He's a, um, he's a good little fish, there's plenty more down there, so we're gonna get stuck back into it. 